morning. It may look like I haven't moved from this couch ever, and that is wrong. I slept in this morning, I went back to bed after I woke up, and then I spent a long time watching TikToks in my bed, and then I finally got up and moved over to my couch. So basically bed. It's about noon, I just read some of my book, and did a couple things on my to-do list i'm getting my next vlog ready to upload but first off i'm gonna go to the gym i'm just gonna walk for a little bit i'm not gonna do anything stressful on my body and then i have to stop by the front desk and get some quarters so i can do laundry so those are my to-do lists for the day and then after that i'm gonna eat some lunch i was gonna get my nails done today but i have a zoom call later this afternoon so i think i'm gonna actually get them done tomorrow and that's my plan let's go also i realized we might have some new friends here so if you are new to the vlog Hi, my name is Kiwi. I'm 26. I'm a professional dancer based in New York City, but right now I am in Indianapolis. I am on tour with a children's show, and I've been on tour since May, and I have two months left. So follow along on my journey, and welcome. I'm glad you're here. You might be asking yourself, Kiwi, did you move from this couch today? And the answer is, Yes, but I'm back here. I actually had like a fairly productive day. I did my laundry, but I had to go to two different floors because my floor doesn't have laundry. So I went to the fourth floor, but all the washers and dryers are being used. So I went to the second floor. The ones on the second floor were empty. And then I went like two minutes after my washer ended and a guy was there like about to take my stuff out. I had my Zoom meeting with our producer and our director because we were just talking about some scheduling changes and stuff as we go into our last stop for the year. I've had a headache because I was laying on my bed for a while and the sunlight was just like hitting me right at that spot where it gave me a headache haven't been able to make it go away so some of my cast and crew are actually like watching a movie together right now and i'm here because i couldn't make my headache go away so i ate some dinner and um uploaded my vlog and getting ready for the next week to begin gonna watch probably another disneyland video <laughs> and then read probably a little bit before i go to bed i want to go to bed at a normal time so it's 10 13 right now i'm hoping to be in bed by 11. good morning vlog happy tuesday i woke up at like 8 30 to an email saying that we had pt schedule today that i was not aware of until i literally woke up so i had to make a schedule for everyone they're coming at 3 30 which means i can't be in my room for most of the afternoon so i like did all my cleaning got everything ready and i'm gonna go get my nails done now it's it's about 10 45 and my nail appointment's at 11 so i'm gonna go get my nails done so they're all ready for halloween i'm getting them done this week so in two weeks when i'm home i can get them done with my mom again before i go to la so gotta like nail that timing you know i'm ready just wearing a t-shirt and some bike shorts and about to head out okay i'm back from the nail salon that was a saga <laughs> I guess I'm just so lucky to be in New York City where you can get like any kind of manicure anywhere. I did not anticipate like having dip nails to be an issue, except in Indianapolis it is. So PSA, if you're in Indianapolis and you need to get a manicure, don't have dip on your nails and um, you'll probably have to get gel if you want to stay in downtown because i booked a nail salon and like i googled google said that they had dip manicures they didn't <laughs> and not only that i showed up and they said they couldn't even take my dip off of my nails because it was acrylic even though it's just powder i don't know maybe the powder is acrylic i haven't done appropriate research but they told me they couldn't do anything for me so i had to leave and uber to a nail salon like 20 minutes away to go get my nails done but i did and they're dark purple they look way more brown on camera but they're like a really nice deep purple they feel like a good halloween balance i want to do either like a dark like pumpkin-y burnt orange or like a dark purple because i already had green on my nails to, for, to be like slightly festive for halloween but not like too on the nose so i'm really happy with it um it's now one o'clock i have pt in two and a half hours so i'm probably gonna watch some videos read a little bit my book got so good last night i'm so invested it's like super predictable <laughs> but like satisfyingly predictable you know what i mean so i want to do that but i also need lunch so We just took dance class with Kini. It was so much fun. We dropped her back off the hotel and now we're at 
Harvest Nights at Newfield, which is an art museum in Indianapolis. So excited. We're so excited. It's going to be great. vlog checking in with a quick thursday update it is like 12 30. we have a really weird break schedule today where we have like six hours between shows i am gonna go to the gym for like 30 minutes and i'm gonna eat and take a nice nap before a second show of the day who should take That's us right. to a new era a new love of something no one outside of the southeast would love nascar <laughs> Hey Emily, how do you feel about 200 oh. shows being today? Nikini, <laughs> how do you feel about it being our 200 oh. show today? Oh my gosh, um, I feel amazing. Hey Amanda, how do you feel about today being our 200 show? Kelly, how do you feel about today being our 200 show? Woo! How do you feel about today being our 200th show? I'm ecstatic. It's not my 200th show, but I'm so proud of our cast and crew. I'm thrilled and excited to be a part of it. Angel, how do you feel about today being our 200th show? Oh my God, it's everything I've ever dreamed of. Um, how do you feel about it being our 200th show? I can't believe it. I have been so plopped on my couch since the second I got home and now I am up and moving. We are going out to a bar it's called the slippery noodle inn it's the oldest bar in indiana so we're leaving in like 30 minutes and i have to get ready so happy monday it is our first day off of this stretch and our last couple off days here in indianapolis and i am tired <laughs> i haven't really done a whole lot the last few days and i haven't filmed <laughs> not that i haven't wanted to i think i just have like not been prioritizing it as much it's hard when you're in such a routine and everything feels the same to want to like pull out your camera and film because everything just feels boring like i remember just looking up when i was younger and now even when i dreamed and still dream about like doing this looking up like tour vlogs and like what life is like on the road and and to what life is like to be doing this thing and performing for a living which is what i've literally, literally been dreaming about doing for so long that i should be better <laughs> this week could be a little more exciting if halloween which will be a fun celebration we have pt today actually and our PT is going to be getting here in like 10 minutes and we do PT in my room. So I PT, I'm first, and then I'm gonna leave, go to my friend Emily's room. Emily, Abigail, Callie, and I are gonna start planning our Disneyland days for fun. <laughs> and then they'll just leave and go to their own PT when their time happens, we do about 30 minute sessions. And that's where we're at. What do you do on a day off? You order an ice cream cake <laughs> as <laughs> a little treat. It's snowing! It's snowing! All right, everyone, get ready with me for Halloween. It looks really unexciting right now, but it'll be great once everything's done. It's about 6.15. I have about 10, 15 minutes before. I have to be down in the lobby to meet everyone for a Halloween adventure. We're going to Top Golf, or it's called Back Nine. It's basically the same as Top Golf. We're going for a few hours to celebrate Halloween as a group and also to celebrate our 200th show that we passed this weekend, which is super exciting. It's gonna be great. I had a pretty good Halloween, pretty uneventful, honestly. 
had a chill morning, did some work, sent out some emails. I so found my mom. I'm going to Switzerland in January with my family. My family's going on a ski trip. I've missed out on so many family vacations the last few years because of work and dance and the industry. And I'm so excited that I now have the opportunity to not <laughs> miss out <laughs> on things that I can actually go with my family on a trip. That's going to be so nice. You can't tell at all from how I'm dressed, but I'm being piglet for Halloween. I am just getting ready. I'm literally not doing anything. We're golfing and my costume is a onesie. None of that really screams glamour to me at all. So putting on some perfume so I don't smell bad and putting on some mascara so I have eyelashes because <laughs> my eyelashes are so blonde i'm not gonna do makeup because i don't really think it's worth it um today was pretty good after i got that work done my friends some of my friends and i we went to this food hall called the garage it's an old coca-cola bottling plant in indianapolis it was really cool i got fish and chips for lunch they were so good and then we walked around the area for a little bit. I got a cookie at this little store and then it was snowing. It was flurrying. So I feel like I got my like Midwestern first snow in and I'm ready to go to California. That's kind of it. That's kind of my update. Oh, and then we came back. We watched The Nightmare for Christmas because I'd never seen it. I know, crazy. We started watching The Imagineering Story, but then we were all falling asleep. So we disbanded. I did some reading, playing my Switch for a little bit and now I'm getting ready to go. So I'm gonna go put on my onesie and head out the door. It's snowing! <laughs> and everyone just left to go to bars. So we're having a great time. <laughs> there is a Future Farmers of America convention in Indianapolis this week. It's the national convention. There are 70,000 high school kids. A lot. Walking around in matching costumes. In little costumes. And no one's come to Coco Mellon. It's really scary. Help us. It's us. terrifying. <laughs> They're everywhere. Yeah, They're they all on scooters. Like it's nobody's business. They no offense scary. to anyone at FFA, but like, bath, please leave. <laughs> Greetings and happy Friday. It has been a wild week, but we are here. No, it hasn't really been that wild. Indianapolis has just been so busy and full of children. And so this week has felt really chaotic, but also all the days are blending together. We've been here for a while. This is a long stop for us with four weekends of shows. It's longer than our other stops that we've done on this leg of tour so far. And I think being in a location like Indianapolis where there's a little bit less to do, the weather's changing, everything has started to feel a little monotonous and mundane. I think we're all ready for a change of pace, a change of environment, a change of location. So we're all getting a little antsy. <laughs> And, you know, we've been on this leg of tour since the first week of September. We flew out on about September 5th, I think. So it's been almost two months now of us being together nonstop. And we all get along so well. It's a really great vibe that we have going on. There's nothing bad going on. I think we're just all kind of ready to have a break <laughs> and a moment to just rest and breathe. Anyways, it is Friday night. I'm sure this vlog is a probably at least a mashup of weeks three and four. My family comes tomorrow. I'm so excited to see them. My baby cousins and my aunts and my grandma are coming. They'll be here by the time my last show ends tomorrow. I haven't seen them since last Christmas. So it's been almost a year since I've seen them as I've been starting this industry and getting your foot in the door is so hard. It's been a huge thing for me to try to, try to make sure that my grandmas get to see me perform in something professionally. So having my grandma, one of my grandmas be here this weekend is super exciting, but it's about 8.45. I thankfully did not have to do laundry this week because I somehow timed it that I'm not gonna run out of clothes and I'm about to head home to a free laundry machine. I am gonna try to get most of my packing done tonight. My goal is to get everything in my packing cubes. It's all kind of there, but I have been really lazy about folding. Get everything in my suitcases, except for my toiletries. Obviously, that'll be fine. So, AKA, I have to pack everything tonight. My mom wants to get on the road early Monday morning, so I need to be done and so I can just focus on hanging out and spending time with everyone when they're here and not packing. I've made some progress, obviously, as you can see. I have taken everything out of the closet in this hotel. I have put all my clothes into their packing cubes. I'm about to put all my packing cubes in my suitcase. 
obviously i have reference photos of how i've packed my suitcase this entire trip just so i've been able to like go back easily know where everything fits how it fits how it stays under 50 pounds i know these bags packed through like this are appropriate weight so i'm just going through that and then i'm going to also empty out my backpack that i use as my show bag every day and pack it up for the car ride and switch it over so that's where we're at i have the imagineering story on in the background just as like some background noise also I've been like feeling really nauseous in the evenings recently. I don't know why. So I'm starting to feel a little like gross. So I'm just trying to chuck some Gatorade and like be hydrated because I think that might be what's going on. I don't know, but catch you later. Good morning, Indianapolis. For the last time, my mom is literally on her way to come pick me up right now from her hotel. I have my suitcases all packed and some extra bags and stuff. I uh, obviously need to do a little restructuring before LA and I'm honestly probably gonna ship some stuff back to New York City. <laughs> so, um, yep, just loading out and getting ready to go. Excited for a week of rest. <laughs> 